Like, subscribe, comment. Salute the scope. Salute the Kwame Brown bus life. Salute the self talk. Salute the Mr. Fair You. Salute the straight talk. Salute the gravity takeout. Forgotten King. T.Y. Ray. Y'all know the fan. So shout out to C No Self Talk. Shout out to Mr. Skinny, Mr. Fair Use. Shout out to everybody. This disclaimer is designed to notify you that the information in this video may be false. The information in this video is for entertainment purposes only in the form of parody, satire, or similar. Go along to get along. Tammy, 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 Tammy. Mama's cooking. Quiet tantrum ash up. Tammy, Tammy. Well, since my motherfucking name is Tammy, Crispy, you act like a female. Yes, I am acting like a female. And it's all head in it. I'm Tammy. Here is an epic video of Tariq Nasheed roasting Tammy. He had it all. Fake YouTube hits. White women. Moist selfies. He was on top of the trolling world and lost it all. Watch the rise and fall of Internet Coon. Tommy Soda Moisture. Right now on VH1. Behind the Coon. The life and career of Tommy Soda Moisture started in Atlanta in the mid-1970s when welfare queen and coke whore Shaquita Harris was at home bored alone one night. She then decided to go to an Earth, Wind & Fire concert held at the Atlanta Civic Center. After the concert, she managed to get backstage and meet the band. While backstage in the dressing room, several members of the group Earth, Wind & Fire ran a train on Shaquita. And nine months later, she gave birth to a seven-pound baby boy she named Tommy. When Tommy was born, there was confusion as to who the exact father was. At the time, they didn't have advanced DNA testing, so they relied on hairline analysis. And upon examination, it was determined that Maurice White was the father. But Maurice White didn't want anything to do with Sequita or Tommy. And growing up without a father took a toll on Tommy during his childhood. Tommy vowed one day to tell people he was doing a documentary called Fatherless America, then steal the money that was donated for making the film so he can trick it off on white women. When Tommy got older, his mother lost the Section 8 to their apartment, then soon afterwards, she disappeared, abandoning him. This made Tommy very resentful of women. He tried to get odd jobs but he eventually settled on a job working as a praise dancer in Bishop Eddie Long's church in Atlanta. One night, at an all-male pajama party at Bishop Eddie Long's house, Tommy was asked to warm up some KY jelly in the microwave. But things took a wrong turn when Tommy left the microwave on 20 seconds too long. When Tommy opened the microwave door, the scorching hot KY jelly exploded and hit him in the forehead. This caused irreparable third-degree burns to his already damaged hairline. Tommy had to be rushed to the hospital, where he would spend weeks in recovery. While in the hospital, doctors made another discovery. Upon x-ray, doctors discovered that Tommy had a gerbil with a cut-out picture of Keith Sweat taped to its face, lodged in Tommy's colon. At this point, Tommy knew he had a problem. So when he got out of the hospital, he was ready to turn his life around. Tommy studied the work of his idol, Tariq Nasheed, and then started to regurgitate all of his information. Tommy then created his own YouTube channel. He realized he was sounding too much like Tariq, so he mixed in some Coonan as a way to set himself apart and to cater to the white supremacist crowd. Tommy was now on top of the Coon world. He had it all. The best tap shoes money could buy, luxury hats to cover up his messed up hairline, he even rented a struggle mansion in the Hollywood Hills. Everything was sweet for Tommy. Or was it? People soon got tired of his one-trick pony, I hate black women rants. The white supremacists abandoned him. People found out that he hired paid trolls from internet companies like buildmyviews.com to pay people to big up his videos and tweets. And the most devastating hit was when Tariq Nasheed, his idol, roasted him into oblivion. Now these days,
Tommy's just taking it one day at a time. He hopes to kick off his music career with a brand new album called Lubricate My Soul. We'll be right back with Behind the Coon, Tommy Soda Moisture. Like, subscribe, comment.